Just days after the Quad Summit in Tokyo, Japanese media has reported that the Japanese government is working to bring new regulatory changes for defense exports by March 2023, that will allow export of fighter jets missiles and other defense platforms to 12 countries including Quad members India and Australia. Japan is expected to sign an agreement by November with UK's BAE Systems to develop its FX-6 generation fighter jet and Japan wants to export it to allow Japanese manufacturers to lower their production costs. If Japan agrees to offer the Taigei-class submarines, then India's Project 75i can come out of the single vendor situation, and prevent the time-consuming retendering process. The 3,000-ton Taigei-class submarine is a successor to the Sora-class submarine, that is equipped with next-generation sonar systems, snorkel power generation system with lowered acoustic signature, air-independent system and lithium-ion batteries. Japan has also developed its XF-91 jet engine, which can generate 110 kN dry thrust, and 150 kN of thrust with an afterburner. If India and Japan are successful in exploring technical collaboration for the development of fighter jets, then Japan will be a natural partner for next-generation jet engine development. Prime Minister Modi has inaugurated India's biggest drone festival in New Delhi, where Bharat Dynamics Limited has unveiled its autonomous drone that can launch standoff laser-guided missiles and drone-launched air-to-ground munition of 3.5 kilograms. Adani Defense has displayed its Hermes 900 UAV and Sky Striker loitering munition. Rafi Fibra Private Limited has also displayed an armed UAV that can launch missiles and air-to-ground munition, and a passenger drone for emergency evacuations. Zen Technologies has unveiled its kinetics-based hard-kill component of its ZADS anti-drone system, while Astoria Aerospace has unveiled its performance-driven military drones for security and surveillance. The RDO's Vehicles Research and Development Establishment is developing a perception sensor suite for unmanned ground vehicles. It has 3D lidar sensors, radar system, 3D and 2D cameras, different types of sensors like gyroscope accelerometer and magnetometer, along with integrated software for autonomous driving obstacle avoidance and path planning. The DRDO is developing a new combat, unmanned ground vehicle modeled on the Arjun Mark 1A main battle tank, that will have 120mm main gun as its primary weapon, and will use an indigenous geographic information system to enable the remote operator to have a visual perspective of the platform's location and operational terrain. Imagery from Indian Naval Station INS Rajli shows two Sky Guardian UAVs, which were leased and inducted by the Indian Navy in November 2020. The Indian Navy had leased the two drones for one year period, and according to latest reports, India has extended the original lease by two years. Meanwhile, the larger deal for 30 Predator drones for the three services is yet to be cleared by the Defence Acquisition Council. After his recent anti-submarine mission sortie on a PA Thai Maritime aircraft, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh undertook a four-hour sea sortie on a Scorpion-class submarine, where he was demonstrated full spectrum of capabilities of underwater operations including combat system and weapon capability. The video of the sea sortie also shows aircraft carrier INS Vikramaditya, whose deck looks ready for operation, which means that it has completed its long maintenance refit routine. Oh, my God.